Dr. here. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a Thread Up Shoe Rescue Unboxing. And today I have a 25 pair of shoes to share with you. That's a lot of shoes. They're mixed sizes. They are not all my size. I did order this box because I plan on cleaning the shoes up and selling them in my Poshmark closet. If you're not familiar, I have recently started selling my personal closet on Poshmark and lately I've been venturing out a little bit and sourcing with thread up rescue boxes and just trying to build up my closet. Guys, I love Poshmark. I've had a lot of luck and success and I've made a little bit of jingle. So I'm going to continue with it and because I'm so passionate about it, I do want to share it with you. I always enjoy unboxing clothing, shoes, purses. I like that. And so those are the types of videos that I make. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and join me for another video. I would love to have you join me again. If you want more information about ThreadUp, it is in the description box below. Everything that I know about ThreadUp, I have a link. If you want to try ThreadUp for yourself, please use my link. You'll get some free money. I get a little free money. That's very cool. I will also link my Poshmark closet because I think all, if not most of these shoes will land in my Poshmark closet. So if you want to check it out, it is in the description box below. Go and show me some Posh love. That would be so appreciated. If you have a Poshmark closet, would you please leave your closet name in the comments below? Because I would love to visit your closet. Let's get right into these shoes. I've seen all of them. I want you to see all of them. I'm going to start with what I thought was the very best pair. Look at these. Do you know what these are? Can you see? Stuart Weitzman. When I saw these, I just knew this was going to be a fabulous box. Look at the bottoms. Aren't those the coolest heels? I love a heel that has an interesting shape to it. And I don't know, what would you call these? Are these a booty or are these a shoe? I call these a shoe. I think this is a slip-on heeled shoe. And this is what it looks like. These actually came with the price tag on it. When I saw these, I thought, new with tags? Oh, score. The original price, the MSRP, was $198, and the price tag on these shoes was $98. I mean, I felt like I hit the jackpot, and they are in super, super condition until I looked in the inside. And you can see all of that lining, it's separating, and that is on both of the shoes. So see that? Now that doesn't mean I can't sell these. These are a size 10 and a half. I will still sell these shoes on Poshmark, but they are so beautiful on the outside and ugly on the inside. So that, that's terrible. If these were my size, I would definitely wear these shoes. They're really nice, really nice. But it was a disappointment when I, when I finally discovered the inside of the shoes that we have all of that cracking and separation on the inside. I'm guessing these came from Nordstrom's Last Chance because they did have a Nordstrom sticker on them. And I'm guessing they were Nordstrom's Last Chance. Someone took a chance, sent them into ThreadUp, and ThreadUp sent them to me. And I will list them on my Poshmark closet and disclose and disclose that. So, yeah, Stuart Weitzman. Number two, look at these cuties. Aren't they adorable? Okay, because I love a pointed toe flat, and these have a nice cushy insole on them. Pointy toe, just like new, still have the plastic, beautiful little suede bow. This isn't real suede. This is a faux suede shoe. Let me share with you the brand. I don't know. I can't pronounce it. H-A-N-Z-I-X-I-A-O-J-I-E. And then there's Chinese writing on top of it. I put this in Google and nothing came up. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they're made in China, I'm sure. They're adorable. They don't have a size in them. I did measure them, and it, they appear to be a size 9, so I will note that in my listing. But yeah, super cute shoes. All right, the next ones are, again, another shoe that I like. This is Worthington, 
and that's JC Penney. So it's not an expensive shoe, but isn't it a nice looking shoe? This is leather. This is a brown leather. It has a bit of a red tinge to it. I don't know if the lighting is, if you can see that, but like new, again, like new. The heels look great on this shoe. It does. Oh, this is the, the biggest flaw. You can see there is a little wear on the toes. So I will try to polish, maybe buff that out. But yeah, so this is, these ones are a nine. Yeah, these are a size nine. I think these are a beautiful shoe and they have a nice sensible heel on them. So they'd make a great shoe to wear to work, I think. Okay, the next ones, look how cute these are. These are moccasins. That's what I'm going to call these moccasins. And I'd love to hear what you think about these. These are by the brand Mini Tonka. They're really cushy inside. And these are a suede leather, but they're like brand new. I mean, zero signs of wear on these. They're small though. They're, I say small, they're a size six. I have a lot of people in my family that wear size six. But I mean, just like new, check out the soles. Are these slippers or are these shoes? Because I think of a shoe as having a harder sole on it. I don't know. I'm not sure what to call these when I list these on Poshmark. And I have no experience with this Mini Tonka brand, but it's really a nice soft leather. And uh, they're very different. And if they were my size, I would definitely give them a test drive because I, I think these are fun. They're different. Yeah. I did get quite a few pair of heels and these are Comfort Plus by Predictions. And I'm not familiar. I'm not real familiar with a lot of comfort brands. Cute, huh? Are these great? They're a gray and burgundy plaid. Look at the bottom. I mean, oh, okay. It does have kind of that fuzzy sole on them, but in really, really good shape. Let's look at the heels on these. You can see there's a few dings, but yeah, otherwise these are in great shape. And I think once they're cleaned up, I bet I can make these look like new again. Do you know anything about this Comfort Plus by Predictions? I need to learn more about Comfort brands. Next pair, can you guess? Can you guess who this is? This is Vera Bradley. These are just flip-flops, but they are new with tags, which makes them a little bit better. Um, because flip-flops are, uh, yeah, they just don't sell for a lot. These are the Rainforest. They're in medium, and that's like a size 7 or 8. And, yeah, these are brand new. So, although these aren't going to make me a lot of money, they're fun, and they'll add some color to my closet. And I hope someone bundles these because, yeah, with Poshmark, you have to pay almost $7 in shipping. And no one would want to pay $7 to have a pair of flip-flops sent to them, but maybe somebody will bundle these when they buy one of my bathing suits. Okay, the next pair is Gold Flats, David's Bridal. These need to be shaped. I don't know if I can shape them. These are called the Alice. They're size nine, and these are, you know what these remind me of? These are like the perfect shoe to take to the wedding, and at the reception, you pull off your heels, you put these on, and you dance the night away. Yeah, that's what I would do with these gold shoes. They're in decent shape. They don't look like they were stored well. I don't know if that's on thread up or because of shipping, but they do have a lot of marks in them, and I don't know that I, I can fix that. So I'm going to clean them up. I'll do my best, but yeah, just very, very simple gold flats. Okay, these are some of my favorites. These are Karen Scott, which I don't know. I had no idea Karen Scott made such a beautiful shoe. Look at this shoe. I love a pointy toe shoe. These are a size nine, which is too big for me. Look at that nice, beautiful heel. And the heels look okay on this one. They're in decent shape. We do have a little bending at the toe. Um, these are leather, so that's nice. And nice little detail there. These need to be cleaned up, but not much. They're really in super shape. I love these shoes. This is definitely a Kelly shoe. That's really an easy height of heel to walk into. So I like these. These are a great shoe. 
All right, another comfort brand. These are Easy Spirit, right? And you guys know I'm just learning about the comfort brands. These are a little sandal. Look at the sole on them, though. That's a nice rubber sole. The rest of it is kind of, this is all a suede fabric. It's a T-strap. It's got that bronze hardware, and that's a hole there. So cute little kitten heel if you like a kitten heel. I can barely walk in a kitten heel. These are my size. These are a size 8. But because of that kitten heel, these are going in my Poshmark closet. Cute though, aren't they cute? Okay, these are the first shoes that I open. They're Jessica Simpson, look at them. We've got some patent leather, which you guys know, I love patent leather, nude patent leather pump. Now the heels on these are beat up a little bit. You can see that we've got dings and dents in these. They're a rounded toe. They're honestly not in terrible condition. They do need a good cleaning. They are a size 11. They're a big size. It's the biggest size that I would ever sell in my closet. It's going in my closet. I hope it flies right off the shelf. We'll see. I have no idea how it's going to work out. But yeah, Jessica Simpson, everyone needs a pair of these. Everyone needs a pair of nude patent leather pumps in their wardrobe, I think. It's boot season, right? They did send me a pair of boots. It's funny because I just sold a pair of boots similar to this. Well, similar in color, I guess. But yeah, they were the camel color boot. These are kind of a Western um, looking one. And then they've got this plate on the front, this gold plate. So but I don't know. I do think it's Western inspired. It does have a black heel. And you can see we've got a flaw right there. So yeah, this must just be an overlay over that heel. The soles on these look really good and the zippers both work fine. I'll show you the label. The label is Buco and I actually own Buco boots. I think I picked them up at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx um, and they I've had them for many many years so yeah now I have a pair of Buco boots to put in my Poshmark closet. Next pair is a pair of chaps and so they're cute, right? They're an espadrille wedge, and this is an elastic band here. And this is the elastic. It's the same elastic on the toe, but this isn't stretchy. This is, and then we have this more neutral color. We have the jute um, espadrille, but I don't know if it's this one. Maybe it's this. Okay, yeah, you can see it here where the jute... We've got some problems there, and I don't know if I can fix that. And we also have some dirt. There's dirt on the jute, and I don't know how to clean that. The rest of the shoe looks fine. I will do some research and see if I can figure out how to clean this straw jute. If you know, please, please hook a girl up and leave your tips in the comments below because I would love to save these shoes. I think they're cute. They're also really a nice heel height so far as actual comfort and walking. Yeah, it's only about three inches and not much of a platform at all on these, if any, really. So yeah, I know somebody would like these if I can get them cleaned up. So if you know how to do that, please let me know. Next up, Take a look at these. Yep, they're Vans, and I think they are adorable. These are a size 7 Vans, and they are a blue suede, and then they have this really, it's almost like a chambray fabric with the flowers there. Really bright white laces. I wonder if they put brand new laces. The laces look brand new, but this does need a cleaning. Yeah, the We'll clean those up. That's what the soles look like. Oh, you see it? I see it too, but look at this one. You can see these did not have much wear, although when I look on the inside where it says Vans, shall I turn it that way, right way, you can see there's some wear there. So, But that is the biggest sign of wear is that fading on the logo. Next up, I have a pair of sandals, and these are called the Ortha Heel. Anyone know about Ortha Heel? That's really all the information I have on these sandals is the brand. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there is a size here. Size, I can't even read it. It's, it's kind of uh, worn off there, so I can't read the size. I don't know if you guys can see that, but these are so cute. The 
soles look great and they do have a t-strap this is a little bit textured on this sole the insole and t-strap with this detail kind of bronze detail so that's really they look very very comfortable and they oh no no no! i thought they look like new there is a flaw there that might actually be from travel in a box I don't know. But nonetheless, these are in fabulous condition. I just don't know anything about Ortha Heel. Next shoe I do know a little about. These are Lauren Conrad, and these are a suede fabric. I do not think they're real leather because I can't find any leather indicator where that says it's leather. Look at these straps. So pretty, huh? With the gold hardware and they do zip up the back. They're a peep toe. I think these are really pretty. The soles look great. The heels on both of them look marvelous, but you're looking at it. See all that dirt? Girl, did you wear these to a bonfire? They are so dirty, which I should be able to clean them, but it really depends on what the dirt is. I mean, I don't have any idea what the dirt is, whether or not it will come out. Oh, and I don't know. Can you see that right there? Something in green, green magic marker. It's not grass. I, I don't know. I don't know. I am going to do my best because I think the style of these shoes is really nice and the color is fabulous. I think everyone enjoys wearing a nude shoe or at least having nude shoes in your closet because they're so very versatile. I think this is really pretty. Wish me luck on getting these clean. Okay, we've got some pretty shoes here. These are Anne Klein. I want to show you the heels so you can see. It's almost textured. It's uh, and they're like in perfect shape. Look at the bottoms, perfect. And we do have a little dirt on the toes there, but real contemporary style with the square peep toe. Um, these are in really great condition, but again, this is one of those shoes that has all the damage on the inside. You can see part of the sole is coming out. It's not the, it's like the top of the sole, but is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Look at that cracking there. So yeah, this shoe is going to look marvelous with a foot in it. With the foot out of it, not as nice. So I just have to disclose all of that, but these are really, really great shoes now that we're getting close to the holidays. Yeah, these will look great with denim and really nice for a holiday party. That's about a four inch heel. These are pretty ones and Klein. What size, what size were these? Are these these are an eight and a half so yeah it's a pretty good size it's just a little bit bigger than my size next pair are some flats these are by old navy aren't they adorable these are really cute they're really simple flat they're like a denim almost a chambray and they're in that stripe slip on um, they have been worn. They are kind of dirty on the bottom. They should clean up nicely. A little bit of wear right there on the heel. Not too bad. Let me see on this one. Same thing. Little heel drag there. But the actual sole of the shoe and the fabric of the shoe, the textile, is in perfect shape. So, yeah, Old Navy. I'm, I'm happy to have it. Old Navy sells so very quickly in my closet. I mean, it's not a big money maker, but people love it. I love it. Do you love Old Navy? I, I don't know. I'm happy to have these. Okay, next shoes. Another pair of heels. And these are by the brand Tahari. That's a Macy's, right? I think this is a Macy's house brand. Look at these. Very, very pretty. Again, we've got some patent leather, which I like. What do these heels look like? A few dings, right? I don't know. I don't know. Heels looking okay. Okay, we do have some adhesive. That looks like it came from a price tag, but the bottoms look really nice. Pretty decent. They're dirty. The inside needs a good wipe down. Probably the, uh, the whole shoe needs to be cleaned, but they look like they're in great shape. Let's look at, what do you think? The toes. Yeah, I think that these with a scrubbing, I say scrubbing. Once I get these wiped down and cleaned up, I think they're gonna look just like new. Now, I can see, see that little orange? That's another sticker. So I, all those stickers and all the adhesive make me think that these were on sale, which that's all right, that's all right. These are pretty. So I did get some sandals and 
I don't know. It's not the season. That doesn't mean I can't sell them. I guess I'm going to try to sell them. This one is by the brand Max Collection. And these are a white sandal. And they definitely need to be cleaned up. And look how cute. They have all of that, um, the flowers on the T-strap. The bottoms look good. Dirty, but good. Now, the there's some separation on the leather on these flowers. I don't know if this is real leather. I'm sure this is probably a faux leather because I don't see anything that indicates that it's leather. But I'll, I'm going to have to decide whether or not it's worth my time to glue the leather flowers back together. These are so cute. And this is maybe a project that can wait till closer to springtime or I don't know. If I find time, maybe I'll fix the flowers. And because I know that somebody will love these, they're really cute and they just need a good cleaning and and maybe somebody else can glue the flowers back together. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I also got a pair of silver Fioni. Fioni is a brand I am not familiar with, Fioni. Well, and I'm not familiar with this Max collection either, but I'm guessing that neither of these are like real expensive shoes. I don't know, but this Fioni is a silver sandal, and then this is not, I called it, like, I want to say it's crystal, but it's really just like this plastic beading that is supposed to look like crystal, but I don't know, it's not really catching the light at all. So I thought that these looked okay, the soles look fine, but then I discovered that we do have some wear up here, so, and that's, you know, the fabric is coming off. So I don't know if I can fix that. Uh, that won't prevent me from listing them on Poshmark. I will just let them know that that's an issue and price accordingly. So yeah, do you know anything about Fioni? Hook me up if you know something. Next up, I have some tennis shoes. These are by Aldo. Do these look like Kelly shoes? These are too small for me. I think these are a size seven if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these are seven and a half, and they're just a really cute shoe. Would look great with denim. These will look great with skirts, too. And I think especially with skirts because they do have little gold embellishment. They do have gold eyes on them. But can you tell? They are yellowed, and I am going to do my best to bring these back to life. But I can't... I don't know for certain I can get the yellowing out of this white. I don't think it's leather. This is probably uh, faux leather. I don't know. It feels like leather, but I'm not certain. And uh, I'll do some research, see if I can figure out what this style is and give them a good cleaning, see if I can bring them back to life. I am going to list these either way because they're in fabulous condition. They're going to look marvelous once they're cleaned up. And uh, yeah, the, that gold detail and again, new shoestrings. I wonder if Thread Up puts new shoestrings in all of their shoes. That would be crazy, huh? Maybe whoever sent them in put the shoestrings. Because you can tell, those shoestrings are like dynamite white. Okay, more tennis shoes. And let's see. Yeah, again, see the shoestrings look marvelous. Oh, these, these are Reeboks, guys. These are like a classic Reebok. Let me show you the backs of them. Dirty, yes, dirty. I'll give you that much. But other than that, I mean, the tops of these shoes, these are leather shoes, which is nice. Um, they're in super, super good condition. They, they do, they need to be washed. And there's, you know, there's some spots easy to clean, easy on that. Now, the thing I need to do with these is they, these have like some pet hair in them which is cool with me. I'm a pet lover. But yeah, it's the inside of this shoe that really needs to be cleaned. I'm guessing this is a cat lover. So I love people that love cats. Cat people unite, right? <laughs> and I'm a dog person as well. So size 10, Reebok, leather, classic tennis shoe. Super. This is a good find. Did I tell you I love patent leather? Look at these. Look at these. Okay, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time holding them. These are Ann Taylor, and these are like a classic pump. Probably, I'm going to say three and a half, four inches with a rounded toe, and the bottoms look great. There is a little bit of ding, dinging. There's a, now yeah, that's kind of a big damage there. So 
I'll see what I can do about that. But I'm gonna clean these up and they are going to look just like new. And these are fabulous shoes because these look great with denim. You could wear denim and a graphic tee with these. You could wear these to work, but even better than that, you can wear these on special occasions. And with that rounded toe and sensible heel, I mean, these would be so very comfortable. I love these shoes. I already have shoes very, very similar, but I think everybody needs these shoes as well. So yeah, check out my closet to see how beautiful these are once I get them cleaned up. Next up are tennis shoes. I guess these are tennis shoes. Are these walking shoes, sneakers? They're big, look at those soles on these. Okay, they're very, very dirty, and they're a really big, chunky sole. These are Skechers Sport. These are the Delight Skecher, and they are a slip-on. So these need a cleaning really, really bad, but it just looks like surface dirt. I don't see any stains, and the inside, can you see how great the inside looks? I mean, it's flawless on the inside. These are a little bitty, what size are you? Uh, these are a size seven. Okay, that looks small for such a big chunky shoe, doesn't it? I don't know. This uh, So yeah, I'll get these cleaned up. This one looks like a very easy project to me. Um, yeah, I, of course, I need to research. I know Skechers aren't real expensive, but I mean, I've worn Skechers. I never paid a whole lot for Skechers, but I think someone's going to love these. These would be really, really nice for walking your dog, right? You just have these in the garage ready, just slip into them and walk, walk, walk that dog. My Elijah is waiting to be walked right now. So these were my size, I'd take them out for a test drive. This is my last pair of shoes. This is 25. I heard someone say that in every one of these bigger boxes, the 25 count box of shoes, everyone gets a pair of Converse. So I got mine. And I'm not disappointed about these either. These are just a white classic high top sneaker Converse All Star and they're in great shape. Um, what size? Size six. Is that men's size six? I'll have to look and figure out like, because I'm, I'm going to list these in my women's closet, not my men's closet. But these need a cleaning. So I will get them cleaned up. What does the canvas look like? There's some, okay, I do have a stain there. Can you see right there? There's a stain, but that looks like the only stain and I can get that out. I'm pretty certain I can get that out and make these snow white again. So yeah, that's my thread up. That's 25 pairs of shoes. That went quickly, huh? I can't wait to get these all cleaned and listed in my Poshmark closet. Thank you to those of you that responded to my last video and said, yes, that you do want a video surrounding the topic of cleaning shoes. I'm going to use some of the shoes from this box to make that video. I'll share with you how I clean and process my shoes well, both for my personal closet, but also to sell on Poshmark because I want all of my shoes and clothing on Poshmark to like look tip top shape. I'm sure you do too if you are selling on Poshmark. I'm so curious to hear what you think about this thread up shoe rescue box. I'll tell you what I think. I think in my experience, my very limited experience, I think the smaller boxes are, have been better, but I don't know. I have no idea how these shoes will do on Poshmark. Poshmark. I would love to come back and give you guys a status report and say I made a million dollars selling my 25 shoes. I don't think that's going to happen, but I will update you once some of these shoes sell and let you know how I'm doing. Um, like I said before, please visit my Poshmark closet and follow me on Poshmark. Leave your closet name below because I want to visit your closet as well. So guys, thank you for sticking around to the very end. I know this is a long one. I really, really try to keep my videos short, but there were 25 pairs of shoes and I wanted to share them all with you. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I can't wait to see you again. Blessings to all of you.